This Idaho fish and game freezer is packed with rainbow trout. Yeah, we, we have a lot of people bringing them in. After decades of encouraging catch and release, Idaho Fish and Game is now offering cash lures to anglers to get them to keep their catch. Uh-oh. Says he released 20 fish before he knew about the program. With help from Trout Unlimited, Idaho offers a bounty on rainbows in hopes of putting a dent in this non-native population. That's because rainbows are threatening to overtake a native species, the Yellowstone cutthroat trout. For the first time ever, rainbows are outnumbering native cutthroats in this 66-mile stretch of the south fork of the Snake River in eastern Idaho. Concern over the future of Yellowstone cutthroat across its historic range has triggered petitions to list the species as threatened. Now fisheries managers want anglers to remove more rainbows from the river. What we've seen from studies the past few years is uh, about 50% of the rainbows and hybrids that anglers are catching were being released. And so we're using this incentive program to try to convince anglers to do the good thing for Yellowstone cutthroat conservation and keep those fish that they've already caught. All right, well, let me show you what we're looking for here. Tiny coated wire tags with numbers corresponding to cash rewards from $50 to $1,000 have been embedded into the snouts of 500 rainbows released back into the river. Anglers bring in their catch to get them scanned for the wire tags. So we went through them this morning, and I'm happy to say that you did have a winner in your bag. You did. It's one of several efforts underway. Spring water releases from Palisades Dam are being designed to give cutthroats an edge over rainbows. Female, 331. Fisheries managers also are working to keep rainbows out of cutthroat spawning grounds to prevent interbreeding. That's probably the biggest threat to the continued persistence of cutthroat is hybridization with non-native rainbow. As fish swim upstream, crews use barriers, such as electrical shock, to force fish into traps. Then they hand sort the fish, making sure only native cutthroats, which they mark with pit tags, are allowed to continue upstream to the spawning grounds. As an agency, the public has indicated uh, that they would prefer us to manage for wild and native species. So where possible, we do that. To succeed, They'll need more anglers to reel in more rainbows. For Assignment Earth, I'm Gary Stryker.